The National Prosecuting Authority is not in a crisis and its investigative directorate is not being sabotaged. That's the word from the National Director of Public Prosecutions, Advocate Shamila Batoy. We've also been asked to come to the Portfolio Committee on Wednesday and we will give more um, um, information there. But let me make a few high-level points. And one is to be clear that the NPA is not in a crisis and that there is no widespread sabotage of the ID or any part of the NPA that is taking place. Advocate Batoy also rubbished the assertion that the investigative directorate head, Hemian Kronje's resignation, was due to a fallout with the NDPP. It really makes for dramatic reporting, but that is where it ends. The interests of the country is important to both Advocate Kronje and I. Our decisions are made in the interests of the country. Cronier was appointed in 2019. Since then, the investigative directorate has not successfully prosecuted a high-profile corruption case. Even though the wheels of justice are turning slowly, they are turning, and people cannot act with brazen impunity anymore. The NPA now has its sights set on SOEs and the Guptas. We've got the restraint order of 44 million in immovable property, and an aircraft valued at three million US dollars. If you convert that into rents, it's um, 47 million. Uh, and this this belongs to Alice Light Investments P2I Limited, as well as um, 60 million uh, property that belongs to Iqbal Shama and his wife. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Pretoria.